this video is about our 440 kilometre ride from Tenterfield to Gloucester, in particular the area from the Oxley Highway down to Gloucester. We hadn't ridden this route before, starting at the Upper Yarrowitch River Road and then Enfield Road, Enfield Range Road, which takes you to Nowendock Road, a road which was much more familiar to us. Okay, we have just ridden about 50 kilometres from Walker on the Oxley and turned right on Upper Yarrowitch River Road, Upper Yarrowitch River Road, and we're heading down now towards Gloucester via Nowendock Road. We may join Nowendock Road, tee the section somewhere. House on some property. It's freezing cold. And we're 10 kilometres, we're turning right on Enfield Road. You can see where we're going right over there. This 12 kilometre stretch is a really nice countryside road until you get to the last kilometre which is a bit gnarly leading up to Enfield Road. A bit darker there. Oh, I cannot believe it, we've just gone through all that, that um, totally corrugated rugged stuff. Holy shit! Well, yeah, I've gone through that and I had the, the camera was off. We're always looking for different ways to get from the Oxley down to Nowendock Road. So we knew very little about this Enfield area, but we read on a post somewhere that it was uh, pretty easy going and a lot like Nottingbull Road, which we'd ridden. Rocky. At this stage the surface is pretty good, though it is a bit rockier than the camera shows. Well, you know, it's probably no bumpier than Nodding, Nodding Bull. It was a pretty good time to ride this road. There was no dust at all from the recent rains. The ground was moist and a little slippery in places, but nothing too bad. Yeah, just continuing these climb ups and then get to the top and then it's a down hill and then back up again continuing to go down a bit here We did 300 kilometres from Tenterfield to where we turned off the Oxley with a fuel stop and a coffee at Urella. And now it's about 70 kilometres along these Enfield roads down to Nowendock Road. Yeah, I followed you. Okay, what? Which side? Which side you choose? No, it's alright. Pretty steep down there. Yeah, well you don't want your heater grips on now. Yeah, I might have to take the puffer jacket off. Just gotta find where the road's gone. Let me have a look at it. because yeah, you can't go straight ahead, it's private property. Ride, ride through it. You 
cut so you, you know you just got to go and explore I wandered over to the other side. Yep. Going over to the left. By now, the Enfield Road had no resemblance to Nottingwell Road at all. It was a lot more like a trail. like you're picking the right ones each time. Along the way, the name of the road changes to Enfield Range Road and it remains this way all the way to Now and Dock Road. There's a little bit here where Tony sees how slippery the wet bits can be. Well, so far the Midas tyres have done well. You're lucky the microphone can't hear you swear, Tony. <laughs> okay, there they go. Uh, big shit. Along the way, the road surface and scenery constantly change. And when you enter this property here, the striker light cattle farm, there's a lot to cattle and it is very interesting. You see the road where we're going, right around there. Geez, they drop some dung, these old cows, don't they? Considering we're only seeing what they do on the road. <laughs> Straight through. <laughs> no, nah, that one that splattered you was in a puddle of water. And so it was a puddle of poo. Uh, They go up the... Oh, far out now, I'm going through poo. I was watching how they, they climb up anything, don't they? They're not bad climbers. I suppose they've got four legs. <laughs> Look at the road right at the top there. It's nice there. Just push through, push through, push through. Yeah, Le lean right, lean right and turn left. Lean right, turn left. You did really well. You did great. Stay, stay there, stay there. There 
is some great scenery on this pretty impressive property. It would look incredible on a nice blue sky day. Thank you for visiting. I guess we were expecting more of a smoother forest road, so Tony gave the road a bit of a thumbs down, but she did have a really big smile on her face. Yeah, so we did stop for a drink and change the GoPro battery, and once again, I didn't set the microphone right, so the sound's a bit different again, but anyhow. The interesting thing is after that striker light cattle farm, the road is now a lot wider and smoother and it's a very nice easy ride albeit it's up and down pretty steep inclines declines but it's a pretty nice easy ride all the way down to now and dock road Eventually the landscapes open right up with some really nice scenery again. The road's still very smooth and you're still up pretty high with lots of up and down undulating road. By now we were seeing more blue sky, the surface was a lot drier, but still no dust which was really good. We eventually reach Nowandock Road where we turn onto it not too far before we meet the Sells Road to the left one we'd been on before. And Tony's cheering again because she was happy to be on a road she was familiar with. We were a little surprised to see how Now and Dock Road had deteriorated so much since we'd last ridden it. Lots of potholes and a few ruts, though it's still a nice ride and boasts some amazing scenery. Dock Road is one of the beautiful roads to ride in the area and as you get closer to Wingham you finally reach the bitumen section which does go all the way to Wingham. We turn off on the Tyrai Road where we wind down to the Manning River which we cross on the frequently photographed Tyrai Bridge. We actually stop here for another drink, a bite to eat and a little bit of a rest before we move on to Gloucester. These roads are a really great way to finish off a nice day's ride.
from Bunduk, we decided to take the bitumen Bunduk Road, which makes Tony happy. She'd had enough dirt by now. And uh, we, the alternative was we were going to originally down to take Baker's Creek Road, which takes you further out away from Gloucester, but it's a very, very good uh, gravel road all the way to that point. Bunduk Road is actually a beautiful surface, quite, quite a good surface, incredible scenery, twisty road, which gets us to Gloucester in time for a coffee before we head to our motel.